I want us to be aware that God is showing himself up great. And according to Revelation chapter 3, beginning from verse 7, God was speaking to the church of Philadelphia. Jesus wrote, asked John to write to the church. He said there are things that he, Christ, identified. One of them is that they were faithful. They kept his word. Even though they were of little strength. Little what? Strength. But little strength is not a sign of failure. Because if you have little strength, but you are in company of the one that is almighty, you will be greater than anyone that has greater strength. I want you to know that your strength is not actually what brings favor for you. But God himself who is with you. And so if you have a little strength, but you have God who is almighty, you will defeat any Goliath on your way. Amen. If you have little strength, but you have God, and the Jericho walls and Jericho gate is shut against you. Mm-hmm. The wall of Jericho will fall for your sake. Amen. Come on, I want you to understand. It's not the amount, it's not your ability. Because when Moses came to God, and God said, I want to send you to Pharaoh. He said, who am I that I should be able to go and stand in the presence of Pharaoh with his might, with his wealth, with his power? God said, it's not about you, but it's about the I that am. Mm. Somebody say, I, I that am that is am. with me. And so I can face and so I can and overcome, and overcome every pharaoh every that I meet on the way. That I meet on the way. Amen. Somebody say little strength. Little strength. With God. With God. Is greater. Is greater. Than a mighty army. Than a mighty army. Come on, come on, come on. I want you to understand this. Amen. When you have little strength, but yeah. you are and you are in you know you are with God and you are in God's favor. There's no army, there's no gang up that will be able to stop you. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. If you understand what David said in Psalm 27, David said, Though an army rise against me, one thing I desire, and that thing I pursue, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, when when I have God, when I am in company of God, when I walk with God, when I'm through the valley of the shadow of death, but I am in company of God, and I meet up with the truth, I meet the God of, of, of the wicked that sit every night and day planning against my life. I am not going to surrender to them. I have a little strength. If you have little strength, but you have integrity, but you have integrity, and you have God, and you have God, you can defeat 
and an army. You can face any pharaoh. You can face any Babylon. You can face any Babylon. Amen. Amen. And this was what happened. God was speaking. Jesus asked his scribe, his prophet John. He said, write and send it to the church of Philadelphia. Tell them that with their little strength, they should not fear because they are doors that are already open for them. Amen. Amen. God is speaking to somebody here. Yeah. Amen. You have a little chance yeah. in the physical realm. Yeah. But God has already made a way for you in the realm of the come on, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. He said, When I open a door, no man can shut it. Do, does anybody understand that this young one has a very little strength? There are certain doors she may not be able to open. But when one that is able open the door and hold it with her little strength, yes, she can pass through. Amen. Did anybody hear me? Yes, yes sir. Amen. And that's what God is saying. When I open a door, yes, nobody can shut it against you, yes, even with your little strength. Yes, because I do not expect you to be opening door. Yes. Your own assignment is to walk through. There's somebody here. God is saying, I don't stop. Yes. Stop spending your time. Worrying how door will be open for you. Nah, amen. Just prepare to up to go through the door. Amen. Come on, I want you to start on your feet. You're going to do something. Else. Because I hear the Lord saying there are there are opportunities waiting on you, and you should stop worrying how you come start on your feet. You should stop worrying how do I get, how do I make this opportunity? How do I? God is saying it's not your responsibility to provide opportunity. It is your responsibility to walk through it, to go through it. It's not your responsibility to provide breakthrough. Because you can't break through, but it's your responsibility to go through what has been broken through. Amen. Amen. Is, is anybody hearing me? Yes, sir. Is that I know you have little strength, but you have integrity. You have made me happy. You are in my favor. Amen. This is what God is saying. Amen. You are in my what? You are in my what? In my favor. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, don't raise your hand. I give a wave of prayer to the Lord. I say, God, thank you. For I am in your favor. Mighty God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the favor, thank you, thank you, everlasting God, Mata Bossi Tayeke, Rapa Prepo Copremos and Rosina, Renata Mulopo Papa, if they so pay, he ran that so Tamana Baki Kromos Kayaka. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, because you are the Almighty God, you are the Almighty God with the little strength we have. We shall go. We shall overcome our enemies. Lord, we shall pass through an open door. In the name of Jesus. Please sit. Please sit. Please sit. It says. In verse 11. Number one is that 
The Lord is coming soon to your rescue. Amen. 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 I want you to understand that this word God is speaking is to apply to your present situation. Amen. Because I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, I am coming soon. You may have been saying, God, look at that. And look, and life is, has become a drag for me. It is almost things are getting out of hand for me. When will I have peace? When will it come good for me? When will the promised blessing come? When shall I see the miracle? And I hear the Lord saying, I am coming what? Soon. I'm coming soon. Therefore, one thing you 
need to do. Hold fast that which you have. Hold that fast. That now, what do you have? God is saying, hold it tightly. And I'm going to explain some things to you. What do you have? Because let me tell you something. In life, Life is not a merry-go-round. Amen? Amen. Amen. Life is a very complex system that if you put your gear of life in neutral, Circumstances will put it for you to reverse. Mm. It never put it forward to drive you. Mm. Or if we put it in P, it will pack you. Mm. <laughs> we we'll stay there thinking that you know it, you have reached, you have not. And you begin to wonder why am I stagnant? Now there are things you need to understand what you are doing with your life. You because if you put your life in neutral, the enemy will either push it backwards or it goes to reverse. Or he will push it to P. P means what? Powerful. And you are there. You say, why is everybody overtaking me? <laughs> No, no, you didn't hear me. Why is everybody what? Overtaking me. Why is everybody overtaking me? Because you were not careful enough to know that God has put you in the position of to be the driver of your dream and life. Amen. You were so ignorant and careless. That you put your your you put the, the gear in neutral and left yourself to the mercy of forces that will help you put it where they have decided, which will never be to favor you. Oh no, you are not here anymore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you may need to make up your mind where you want to go. Is that hold that fast which you have because there's something given to you already. I'm going to mention some of them for you. One of them is you have been given a position. A what? Position. To, not to be a passenger, but the driver. Come on, somebody say. I receive, I receive the revelation, the revelation this, day this day that I have been given, given the position to be on the driver's seat. I will not be upset to allow the devil to occupy my position in the name of Jesus Christ. the enemy. God has put you on the driver's seat and say hold fast the steering and control the gear. Don't put it. Your, 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 listen, your feet should be on what? On gas. Come on, on the gas. On the gas pedal. Don't put it on the stop. Because when you put it on the stop, you will stand net. But if you also put the gear on the neutral, the enemy will pack it for you. Or put it on the watch. Reverse. I hear the Lord saying, move forward. in life. Apart from the fact that if you put your life on neutral gear, the enemy will help you put it on park or on what? Reverse. The second point is that 
in this life that says struggle wherefore what you have is being eyed be what? E-Y-E-D on the line eyed by others to take them you think it's a joke <laughs> what do you have people are looking to take it away from you somebody what what do you have take, take it on and listen very carefully somebody want what you have and the most time because of ignorance and carelessness when you live your life when you take life easy and lazy you may not make it that does not mean you cannot rest even at rest you must be a l e a a l e r t what is that when even when you are even that is why your subconscious your subconsciousness is at work even when you are asleep. Yes, yes. Hey, let me let me chip in this. If you are a man or woman of God, a Christian, a man or woman in the spirit that walk in the spirit, and you every time you you keep dreaming where you are running in the dream, flying and running away. And theory, your spiritual life is under question. Under what? Question. You're supposed to be that in the dream, you're supposed to take a stand and fight. Amen. Now, let me tell you something. I beg you, if you have not been fighting in the physical, fight in the dream. Amen. Amen. Yeah. If in the physical you are so humble that when they slap you one cheek, you turn the other one, not in dream. Talk somebody and say not in dream. Help me, help me, help me. Talk somebody and say not in dream. Come on, help me. Talk somebody and say in dreams. You are allowed to be violent. You are Come on, help me and say it is the realm of the spirit. Come on, help me and tell the person. It's a Why are you, you know, doing your nose? Why are you closing your nose? 
The person said, has anybody ever closed the nose? Now, the, the lesson is the fact that your nose is left permanently what? Okay. You know you can close your eyes, you can close your mouth, but there are areas in your life that has to be open. One of them is the nose. Because once you close it, you are gone. Amen. Amen. Now, through the place that are open, many unwanted visitors invade into your body. But there are things that are left inside that are to fight them until they are destroyed. Amen. When your blood vest, when your when white blood vest, uh, cells are not able to fight, you are overcome. You are conquered. Mm-hmm. Your body that is the temple of the Spirit of God, there are many forces that want to take over it. Sickness want to take over it. Old age want to take over it. <laughs> you are not here. Maybe these are the things, the ones you don't want to hear. You, you look, look, the other day I, I was looking at the mirror and I found that this part of my, my mouth is folding. No matter how you try, you can decide to go and stretch it. After you know some politicians, by 2008, a politician lady went and stretched her face, tightened the skin. Now I looked at her the other day, the thing has returned. <laughs> it takes only a few years. Did I hear somebody praise the Lord? So old age is trying to take what you have, what you used to present when you go to the mirror and after you finish, you say yes, I can now I can show off. Something is trying to take over. Everything you have, something or somebody wants to take it. Amen. Do you know what you have to fight? If you marry a handsome man, if you marry what? Good. Because let me tell you something. Anytime you have, there are certain things you have and you bring them out. If you have a very sweet smelling fruit, be sure you are going to be fighting flies. No, are you here? You have never No, is it true? Good. Let me talk. You need to find more than you would have fought. <laughs> Amen. And you have a, a wife that is pretty and position. You are a man. You don't just think you, it is just like that. You have to pray and fight more. Two things can happen. There are men are going to come, but the men are not your enemy as the devil who is going to speak to her mind. No, you are not hearing me. So tell her, look at you. Do you know where you would have been? In fact, you are not supposed to be living in this type of a house and driving this type of car because you are actually supposed to be living in the moon. And you are still accommodating him. And so when he speaks, you look and say, 
Do you, you can't you count yourself lucky that I still live here on earth? Even though there's no, there's no house yet in the moon. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody lift up your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you think you have? Somebody, something is out. to look for it and take it away from you. Amen. You have children that are promising. Children that are set. From the instrument, the Bible says children are reward from who? Oh. All that the devil wants to do is to take them away from you. Amen. Amen. And so many times you have to walk. He said, hold that fast. Hold fast that thing that you have so that you do not start regretting. Amen. 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 And so you, you, you have your children, girls, boys, people around you. God sent you destiny help us. And you begin to, by carelessness and ignorance, lose sight. Of holding them. Mm -hmm. The tendency that the devil is going to come and start playing in their minds. Did I hear a Hallelujah. And I want you to take note of what we are saying. He said, Hold fast that which you have, that no man take it away from you. Do you not know that there is great subtle fight going on at the workplaces. At where? Workplaces. The very person you think is your friend at work no. may be wanting to take over your position. Yes, now I want you to take note. When it comes to promotion and, and the position, you think there's friend you need at work. There are very few friends. The only friends you have are those who the Spirit of God has filled them and made them slaves for Him. They are the ones who will say, No, I will not do this. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because at work, they will do everything to uproot you, they will do everything to take away, take you away. Because somebody wants to take away from you what you have. And the Lord is saying, hold that fast. Amen. Hold it tight. Yes. Guard it. Guard it. Yes. Very strongly. Jealousy. Amen. Amen. Do you know that the devil does not want marriage? Satan does not know what? Marriage. Satan hates. Let me tell you something. Three institutions the devil doesn't like is church, no, marriage, family, and church. God mm -hmm. that order. God wants marriage to bring about family. And family then bring about what? Church. Satan doesn't like it. The devil will allow people to be. Boyfriend and girlfriend, but immediately marriage come in. You don't know where war that was not declared start happening. Come on, am I speaking to you? Yes, sir. Amen. 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 That is during the time of boyfriend and girlfriend, people are sweet sugar hearts. <laughs> then you find out when the heart turns into bitterness. You don't know. You don't understand. But it happens. Because the devil is orchestrating things. Amen. And God said, you must hold fast that which you have. Because the devil wants to take it away from you. The reason is to bring misery in your life. The reason is to derail your destiny. But you are going to take a stand and tell the devil enough is what? Enough. Amen. How 
do you hold some of these things? Because some of them are so delicate. Sometimes you spend so much energy trying to hold them and they make every effort to run away from you. How do you hold them? Are you, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Many of us have tried. Talk to somebody and say, I have tried. I have tried. Come on, no, 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 help me. Help me. Talk to somebody and say, I've really tried. I've really tried. Talk to this person and say, you may not understand me. But I need to tell you this information. I have really tried. I have tried. Come on, tell the person who is telling you have tried. Say, allow God allow to take over. God. Take over no, 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 help me. Talk to somebody and say, allow God to take over. Come on, tell somebody and say you have done all your best. But God can do better than you. Amen. You have tried to hold fast. But you see, the forces are trying everything to deprive you. But one thing I know is that God is going to help you. God will help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 He said, hold that fast. How do you hold fast your salvation? How do you hold fast your health? How do you hold fast your children? How do you hold fast your marriage? How do you hold fast your family? How do you hold fast your job? How do you hold fast that friendship? How do you hold fast that financial blessing? Amen. How? These are, these are the questions which I'm going to be taking up another time. You need to listen another time. Amen. Amen. You need to find how do I hold fast? These persons are trying. And it's like, you, you, have, you ever, have you ever imagined trying to save somebody and the person is making every effort to die? Mm. No, no, you didn't hear me. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, somebody is falling to the pit. You are trying to hold the person. The person is making every effort to jump into it. You know, sometimes it can be very difficult. You may not understand what happened in John chapter 5 and the pool. The, 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 maybe the relatives and parents and probably the wife of the man who was there for 38 years. When they kept saying no, no, we, you just, and until everybody just got fed up and let me, you can be tired. When they say, wait, ouch. How do I hold fast to that? Which I have, but which there are forces that is determined or are determined to take them away from me. Amen. Amen. One thing we know is that we have a God who is greater than all. We have the Almighty God. The Bible says, if God be for if God be what? For me. Who can be what? Amen. If God be for us, who can be against us? And the very God, the Bible says, that because he is in you, you are stronger than the forces that are against you. Amen. 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 That fact which you have. Do not let any man take your crown. Your what? Your crown. Before I finish, I want to, you know, I didn't answer the question because there are the, the answers on how God has given me the revelation how you can hold that fast which you have. But let me go to the point of no man take away your crown. Yes. Now, what is the crown that God has given you? You 
may look at yourself and say, you are a nobody, you are nothing. But there's a crown on your head. Amen. Touch your head and say, this crown, this crown shall not be taken away. Be taken away. I have a crown. I have a crown. That the cloud of darkness seems to want to cover. I am ready for my crown to be seen. That I may be given the due respect. That I need to have. Now I want you to understand what is crown. Why are people giving crown? Why is it that kings wear crown? Why is it that queens wear crown? Why? The reason, there are many reasons. One of the reasons why crowns are, are, are placed on them is to identify who they are. Amen. For identity. Somebody say for identity. For identity. Number two is for distinguishing one from another. What we say one is identity. One is to be able to distinguish you. Have you gone to places, big, big places, where people gather for either ceremony or occasion, and they say there are people who are distinguished. Mm -hmm. Distinguished what? Yes. 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 Very important personalities. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, as you, I mean, I have gone to places as a minister of God. I have many, many times been in the position of being the most distinguished. Mm. As they say. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Good. When you, when you, when you have hundreds of people sitting. And they have to keep quiet and listen to you. Are you not distinguished? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you, I have, I have been invited where I, many occasions I landed, not to minister, but to attend function where I was sent for, with, for the special vehicle. Sometimes it's not just, I have gone to minister from there, gone to some other thing. It was sent. And I was taken to five star hotel. I was one of the persons I knew kept for me. But I was on the phone being told that a limousine was sent. Yes. And I was sitting at the back, little me, <laughs> with this room that nothing was there, putting drinks for me, which I didn't need. Because the only drink I drink this day is one. Water. Amen. Amen. And so taking to I'm giving, you know, this is the hotel, and then checked in and everything. This wish is a crown. If you look at it, what the Bible says, that God wants to manifest you and I to our horn to be lifted, raised, more than the horn of the unicorn. Amen? Amen. Let somebody read. Let somebody read Psalm 75, verse 6 and 7 and 10. Psalm 75, 6, 7 and 10. Let somebody help me read it. For exaltation comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is with God. One and another. Verse 10. All the horns of the wicked I will also cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. I want you to understand that horn signifies power and glory. Amen. The same thing as crown. Crown signifies power and what? So, come on, help me. Power, I mean the horn and crown signify power and glory. He said the, the crown, the horn of the wicked, God shall cut down. But the crown and the horn of the righteous, he shall do what? 
exalt. Somebody now, your version of the Bible says exaltation comes not from the east. Not from the west, not from the south, that God is the judge. That exaltation means promotion. Promotion comes neither from the east nor west. What he's saying is that I will bring down the promotion of the wicked. And I will manifest the promotion of the righteous. Are you, are you hearing me? He says, hold what you have very tightly. Do not let anybody take away your promotion in Christ. The blessing, the manifestation, what God has put in you. Because it's time for you to begin to enjoy being a VIP. Amen. You know, there are people here, you think I'm just preaching. I'm not preaching. I've entered the realm of prophecy. Amen. And you need to receive the prophetic word of God. Amen. If you are not in tune in the spirit, you better wake up. Mm -hmm. I hear the Lord saying, it's time that you begin to enjoy the position of VIP. Amen. Glory to the name of the Lord. Yes! He said, promotion does not come from the east, it does not come from the west, but God is the judge. He is the one that decides it. And God told him, the church in Philadelphia, because of your integrity, though you have little strength, I will make sure that doors are open, that you will rise to that promotion. For the time has come, the season has come, for you to enjoy the position of a Jesse. 
somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He found the house of Jesse. Look, anybody in the house of Jesse could have been the, could have received the anointing. But God does not go like that. There was a young man, Daddy. It's not because of David's positional birth and the last son. It was not because of the, 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 the countenance of his face that was, he was a handsome young man. It was because of what God had seen in his life. Hello, hello. Let's check, let's check. Pay attention. Look at me. David was not a man that had a lot. There were so many areas in David's life that he lacked strength. He was weak. He was what? Weak. One of them was because of generational issues, traveling from his great great grandfather called Judah. He had a problem. The problem of sexual problem, where he could not maintain himself. He, even if he sees any, if he saw anything pass, even a hand on skirt, he will look. He will lose his consistency, and he was having that problem. Did you hear me? However, God knew that this man had something in him, and when the anointing would come. The crown was on his head. So immediately the oil was poured. In the same chapter 16, suddenly the servants of King Saul told him there is a man in Bethlehem that had skills to play the harp. You didn't hear me. Why did it not happen until the anointing came on the head? Is anybody awake? Yes, sir. Is anybody hearing me? Yes, sir. There are skills and talents that you have that is connected to the crown that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Don't let any man take it from you. Amen. Don't let any person take away the crown. Yes. Amen. 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 David had some talent and skills that were connected with that anointing. That the, the only thing the anointing did was to open it up, to make the horn. I told you what horn is. Horn is power, crown, and glory. To make it begin to grow in the spiritual realm. So that immediately, immediately signal was sent and the servants of Saul picked it up. No, you are not hearing me. I'm going to finish. I didn't know I was going to, but revelations are coming. Now let me tell you something. So they had the skill and talent that could make him prime minister. Amen? Amen. But nobody knew that he had it until the seed was just being blown by wind. You know that during fall, during the winter wind, some seeds are blown. And the tendency for you to say, oh, this wind is too much. But you don't know that the seed cannot be that tree on that place until it is taken to where it will become the mighty giant tree. Amen. Amen. And so Joseph had to be taken to that prison when the wind, wind that was contrary to him was blowing. Blew him. Carried him, they wanted the truth. People who are seeing from the physical, from the physical point, were pitying him and weeping. Mm -hmm. But he can, he could only go through that way in order to land at the palace. Amen. 